Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and in this video, we are going to discuss the identification of ankle effusions, as well as how to perform aspirations and injections. The technique between an aspiration and injection is very, very similar. You're just taking fluid out with one and injecting fluid in with the other. Your probe of choice for this type of exam and procedure is going to be by far the linear transducer. Now, with regards to identification, we're basically going to place it on the anterior surface of the patient's lower leg, right where the ankle starts, and we're going to identify a couple of structures. Over here, we have the probe marker facing up, cephalad, which is how we want to orient it, and here we see the talus, the tibia, some cartilage, that's what this hypocoke thing is, right at the end of the talus, a fat pad here, and the tibialis anterior tendon, more superficial, and the joint is everything below this tibialis anterior tendon, and that's where we're going to look for an effusion. So here we have a patient without an effusion. Over here, this is the joint. And then over here, this is the same patient, but some swelling, some pain on the affected joint, and we can see that there is fluid right here in that ankle joint. This example is an infected effusion. This is the tibialis anterior tendon over here. You can see all that squishy pus. You can even see it extending from as superficial or outside of the joint into that joint. This was due to IV drug use. I'm going to take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Now, with regards to aspiration or injection of really any joint, there are three different approaches. You can do an in-plane, out-of-plane, and a way out-of-plane. For the most part, the in-plane is going to give you the best visualization. The out-of-plane works very well if you have a lot of structures around the area that you want to cannulate or aspirate from or inject. And this is my favorite technique for doing peripheral ultrasound-guided IVs. And sometimes when you have a very small space, you might want to do a way out of plane technique where you basically identify midline and go straight down knowing that you're honestly not going to have great visualization of that needle tip. Now, irrespective of if you are aspirating or injecting into that ankle joint, be very careful not to puncture the dorsal artery that sits right here. Just throw some color flow on there, usually in the short axis to help identify exactly where that is and try to avoid it. This is a ankle joint. This is cephalad. This is caudad. This is an example of performing this out of plane. This is actually the way out of plane technique. I'm relatively midline here. I don't have great needle visualization, but I can see that there's some tissue movement right here. I see some hypercook stuff. I know I'm going straight down and I go ahead and aspirate. Here's an example of performing an aspiration on an ankle effusion with the needle in plane. We have the transducer in the same location. It's tibia, this is talus over here, and we're coming from caudal to cephalad. And you can see here pretty good needle visualization, at least better than we did with the way out of plane technique. Now here's the issue with performing a aspiration or an injection of a joint that is so small in plane it's the amount of space. This is actually a small area and you'll have to traverse a further distance to get from the skin to that area and you often don't have the opportunity to redirect all that well. Um, but just to show you what it can look like, this right here, this is fluid from the lidocaine that was injected. You can see that needle coming in, approaching that joint space, getting inside and aspirating what was not, fortunately for this patient, any infected fluid inside that joint. You can see here that I am aspirating some straw colored aspirate over here and we sent it out to the lab and they confirmed that it was an inflammatory effusion. Now one structure to be careful of is the dorsal pedal artery. You definitely don't want to pierce that and sometimes what I'll do is I'll place a transducer transverse over the ankle joint to be able to identify the dorsal pedal artery 
which you can see right here. And you can see here that I'm approaching that joint space away and avoiding that dorsal pedal artery, which is definitely what we want to do. That's it for this five minute Sono lecture on ankle effusion and aspiration and injection. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.